Thank you so much, dear ministers, generous officers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today representing Saab Swedish Aeroplane AB that was founded 1937 uh, for reasons that we hear a lot about now to, to have access to defense technology. Uh, that was the reason we were created in 1937, because Sweden could not uh, get uh, any country to sell fighter aircraft at that time. So, so Sweden decided to start up a company that could uh, have the, the capability to design, develop and produce fighter aircraft for Sweden. That was the starting point. Uh, since then, we have grown, grown the company internationally and we have done it uh, in partnership and we have done it with, uh, together with a uh, lot of uh, collaboration and uh, I'm here today to share a bit about how we see on collaboration, partnership and, and what we have done and, and what we are thinking of and doing already now here in Hungary. So, today, uh, this is the main product portfolio Saab has today. And I'm sad to say there are no Saab cars in the product portfolio. But I would say we do more or less everything but cars in the defense field today. Uh, we have today have become a global innovative defense and security company and in all domains, armed forces, land, air and sea. Uh, we have the fighter aircraft, fighter systems, the underwater systems with uh, submarines, uh, small underwater vehicles, we have uh, weapon systems in that range. We have command and control, we have the sensor systems, and we also have advanced weapon systems uh, that we produce today in, 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 as I said, in all areas, air, land and sea areas. So true global company with, with uh, a extremely broad product portfolio. Uh, today, the changes we see Today, and it was mentioned along other speeches, it becomes more and more advanced speed. It's all about speed. And to, to be able to do that, you need to have information quick. Uh, and therefore, you need to connect everything. So it's about connecting the sensors and, and making useful information of that sensors and then make sort of the right people, the right platforms, everything needs to know that information and they need help. What should they do? And here we have all the new uh, technolo technology coming in here. And we heard a lot of these uh, words that have been used. I'm going to mention a bit more there. So, so today, of course, we need to have the products. But it's a system of system concept and to integrate all of this. And that's the big advantage, I would say, for a company like Saab. We have this broad portfolio and we have this technology. So we, we can, I mean, as I said, we have everything from underwater submarines. We have fighter aircraft. We have the flying radar system. We have the uh, land-based radar systems. We have the... Uh, the, the uh, how to connect and command and control and everything. So we have all these chains. So that is what we are using now uh, within Saab and in partnership uh, with other companies in other countries. So that's what we do. But this is so important now and we see it so clearly. We see it in Ukraine, how, how clever solutions using new technology to, to use speed as an advantage. Uh, the strategy we have is, is of course, we have the, the products that we have and, and the change we see now here in Europe with, with the, the demand. It's just crazy, the demand. So we are increasing our capability 
to deliver faster. We are investing a lot in more production facility and so on. So it's a lot of here and now demand, but we also need to be relevant tomorrow. So we invest a lot in all these new cloud technology, as I mentioned before, connectivity, cyber, space, how that come into the equation, XR, AI, autonomy, also 3D printing, how can we use that technology to make it cheaper, to make it faster, can we 3D print a submarine, can we 3D print a uh, fuselage to an aircraft, do we need to build it the way we do it today? We are in looking at all these new te technologies and we do a lot of uh, research and, and, and uh, we try it out with, with different companies today. And so that, that's what, what's happening right now. And in the partnership and acquisition, we are looking for international partner because we think it's if we're going to be relevant on the export market selling our equipment, we think it's good for Saab. It's good for the end user in that country and it's good for that country to have local know-how about our system. Because the system, if I take a fighter system for instance, it, it lasts for 30, 40 years. Uh, it's good if you have the know-how of a lot of the, the part of the system in, in the country to do the support, but also to help us further develop those systems. So that's part of, of the strategy we have, working together and being, being willing to share our technology with partners in, in local countries. And, and hunger is no exception. Uh, today we have uh, ongoing partnership with, with some of your companies here. You can see them outside here. Uh, all these, uh, how we use the digitalization to be smarter uh, in the extended reality, virtual reality and so forth. Uh, we have some example here, how you can use that technology to, to, to be learn quicker, you can do the, the route planning, you can do the support maintenance service uh, training and so on. So, so this is good example how we try to see how can we you use this digitalization and, and be more smarter and those technologies will also be part of how to be efficient in, in, uh, uh, for the armed forces in different ways. Uh, also an area where we are already have done a lot uh, and but we are seeking even further partnership here and that is has been mentioned here before Artif uh, artificial intelligence again to to be more efficient to speed up things we have what's happened here yeah that's the right one, sorry. Uh, to speed up everything and, and, and if I take the latest uh, version now of the Gripen, uh, we already have AI in that uh, platform and it's like a co-pilot. It uh, sort of look at all the sensors that we have on, on the, the latest Gripen. Uh, it helps the pilot to, to focus on his job and he, the AI can look at what is I'm seeing out there. Is it a threat or is not not a threat? Should I tell the pilot you need to focus on this and, and look, take a look at that? And I think we're just in the beginning of using AI. So here we are looking in Hungary for local partnership. How can we further develop that? Because speed, as I said again, and we have stopped talking about it. It's a lot of talk about special fighter aircraft. Uh, is it this or that or whatever generation is it of the aircraft? We said it's not about generations, it's about speed. We have the latest script and version. We have now, as the only fighter producer, producer on this planet, being able to upgrade the software in, in that platform in the morning and we fly it in the afternoon. That is no one else that can do that. It takes them a year to two years to, to uh, make sure everything works, uh, works uh, and you have to confirm everything before you're allowed to fly it. We have 
being able to separate the flight critical software from, from the performance and, and, and application part in, in that platform. So we're actually doing those uh, things now. We, we upgrade it in the morning and fly it in the afternoon. And that is, again, uh, it's about speed. But I think here, as was mentioned earlier, the technology allows this. We see in the car business and so on. But the armed forces, we need to, from an industrial perspective, technology perspective, work close together with armed forces. How can they use the new technology so that they can uh, fly a better fighter tomorrow than they are flying today? Because that's need sort of change of their way of, of using those advanced platforms. And I'm just talking about fighters now, but it could be whatever platform, of course. So I think we, we need to work together to, to help each other to be more efficient and, and we know the technology and, and you know how to operate it. How could we help each other so you can, can use the, the, what, what uh, possibilities the new technology gives you. But we are more than willing to, to work here together in Hungary with local industry and, and with the armed forces to see how could we help you be more efficient. So with that, uh, thank you so much.